I don't have to worry about smacking my fingers. Just puts it right in there for me. Hey guys, Brad here, Hi. and today we're going to be taking a look at a boss stitch nailer. Uh, this is specifically uh, a palm nailer. So, as you can see, it fits in the palm of your hand. And these are really great for putting nails into your, your hangers. So first, before we get to that, we're going to just take a look at the actual nail gun itself here. They've got this nice little cloth thing that you can kind of put your hand into somehow. I don't know. Something like that. Doesn't fall off. Just snaps on. My snaps are broken here. But... Um, yeah, that's the palm nailer itself. The kit comes with, and you, you can buy it in the kit or you can just buy the nailer on its own, but it comes with a couple extra noses that are for different lengths for different lengths of nails. You get a washer kit or O-ring kit, I should say. You get a little wrench and then a hard case. So some of you are wondering how to change these noses. They don't just screw out. You got to use the wrench. And it comes off like this. So once you take this apart, take the spring out, take this collar off, and then you can switch to different sizes. Now this is all in, you know, depending on what kind of nail you're using. Typically, I'm using this small guy here for hanger nails. And, you know, if, if you don't have a pneumatic gun, this is the next best thing. Then after this, you'd be hammering in with your hammer and just a, you know, bunch of loose nails. So essentially like that. And so, how these work, These are your hanger nails. These are galvanized. Okay. So inch and a half galvanized hanger nails. Oh, my bad. I didn't see what I did there. Make sure you put the spring back in. Totally missed that. So yeah, make sure you put your spring back in. Okay. That makes it work a little easier. All right. So there's a magnet in here that will hold the nail in. So the nail won't fall out. Okay. And essentially, these are great if, you know, for hangers, for example, you can't. You, can't, you, you know your finger can't fit or uh, let's say there's a there's a joist and there's a beam real close and you just can't get in there these are perfect because you can you can just sneak in there and you're not going to hit your fingers plus they're quick they're easy you can shoot all kinds of lengths of, of nails just put this to the side here so that's what we're going to do we're going to shoot some nails So here's my trusty 4x6. You've probably seen this in a bunch of videos lately. This is my block for demo right at the moment. So we're just beating this thing up with staples and screws. But uh, yeah, so you can nail your plates on if you need to attach plates. You can do hangers, you can do corner brackets. So let's just fasten this down with a few nails and I'll, I'll show you. So my glasses on here. Make sure you're always wearing glasses when you're using pneumatic guns. And these always sort of leak a little bit of air. You can kind of hear them. But you put the nail in. Don't press it in because it'll start to shoot. So just, just drop it in. If I press it in with my hand, this thing would shoot into my finger or shoot out. So you got to be very careful when you do that. Okay. Okay, so you just want to line the nail up to your hole. And press down with your palm. And it just puts the nail in just like that. 
Super easy, guys. And then if you wanted to do a corner bracket, See, I don't have to worry about smacking my fingers. Just puts it right in there for me. And one more. Oh, I'm out of air here. We have the compressor turned off because it makes a bunch of noise in the shop, but you guys get the idea. So, super easy. Always make sure you got air on. As you can see, if you don't have air, that's what will happen. But otherwise, great tool to have uh, if you're into framing building decks um, those are basically the two big things you know I would say you should have this in your arsenal uh, such a great tool to have I've had this for years I've put it through the paces a million times and you know it's still operating great just a couple drops of oil when you're using it and that's all you need so yeah I know there's lots of new ones out there now there's uh, Dual has one boss stitch, you know, the pneumatics where it's a gun and you can just shoot them in. Uh, they're, they're cordless. So we're getting away from pneumatic stuff. They're all battery operated, which I love. I love to cut the cord, but you know, they're a lot more money. And if you're not really getting into doing too much, so if you're say a homeowner and you just want to build a deck, but you've got maybe, I don't know, a thousand nails to put in, you might want to consider buying one of these because they're pretty affordable. So we'll leave a Amazon link down below if you, if you want to check it out. All right, guys. So leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think of uh, palm nailers. Do you use them? Do you like them? Do you hate them? All that stuff. Otherwise, uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe. Hit that notify bell. Till next time, keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.